Hello there, I'm going to introduce my uh, latest project, but first a little introduction. This right here is a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a small, full computer that just needs to be connected to things like Wi-Fi, uh, keyboard, mouse, and screen. Um, and a little SD card for storage. It's a full computer, so uh, you can go in, once you have everything hooked up, you can browse Facebook and watch YouTube and all that fun stuff. This is the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero version, and it costs just five dollars. It's free and awesome. Um, while it can be used as a computer, it can also be used as a microcontroller. What a microcontroller means is basically you see these little pads right here. These can be used to um, connect to other devices and you can control them. Um, if you're interested in what a Raspberry Pi is and can do, YouTube and the internet are full of information. Um, but today we'll focus on my project. I call it the Hueberry dimmer dial. If you don't know what the Philips Hue is, it's a lighting system that can be controlled by your smartphone, tablet, PC, and even the internet. The great thing about it is that it's very easy to interface and make programs for. Um, right now, I don't have it uh, connected to a battery, so right now it's connected to the USB power, um, and the screen has a screen protector on it right now, so that's why it looks a little bubbly. Um, Today, I'll be showing you some of the features uh, my Hueberry has at the moment. First, we have a nice clock with a date. The clock can be switched to 24-hour mode if desired. Um, and the next seven menu items set scenes for the whole house. Um, what a scene is, is the right combination of brightness and darkness uh, and color and color temperature per light for each light in the house. So if I want to turn all the lights uh, or, there it is. If I want to turn all the lights on, or if I want to turn all the lights off, um, or if I want to get some uh, mood lighting, or if I want certain lights uh, on at uh, minimal brightness because I don't want to ruin my uh, nighttime vision as I wander around, I can go and uh, just kind of push these things and um, it will go and start setting all the lights. Uh, so the next is we have the ability to control lights by group. Go to the uh, group control menu. In the group control menu, uh, so my program goes and automatically gets the group names and brightness levels uh, from the hue bridge. Uh, it also gets the state of the lights, so it tells me that, wow, I've got my bathroom on. Anyway, um, it updates in real time for the most part, so I'm going to go and select the master bedroom and I'm going to raise the brightness to 100%. So, let's see if I can, there we go. So, brightness for the master bedroom is currently at 100%. So, if I go in, lower it, so you can see that going down as well. Yeah, there you go. It works a little better in the daytime, but you get the picture. So. In the master bedroom, I am controlling the particular light. Uh, this thing is wireless, so you can move it to any particular uh, room. The only problem is that uh, it needs to be powered. Which is something that I'm working on currently, which is why you see the little battery in the back. Anyway, um, the next thing is, I can go, oh, uh, the next thing is, I can go all the way to back one level, go to light control menu, and now I see uh, all of the individual lights in my Hue uh, system. I can control all of these individually um, and just like the other one it gets all of these names and brightness levels and everything automatically. So if I go to my particular light right here so if you notice this is my light that's my wife's light and as I dim my light, it only controls my light, and my wife's light stays bright. Let's bring that back up. And then go back. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything I have right now. Um, it, can, it controls all the lights in my house uh, since it automatically retrieves names and brightness levels and everything. I don't really need to go and update the program as I uh, add more to my system or subtract more. Uh, definitely going to add more features like adjusting the color temperature and stuff from this system. Um, 
but aside from uh, adding a battery to it, the hardware is pretty much set. It's nice and small. Could be a little bit smaller, but um, due to the uh, rotary encoder, it is kind of thick, and that's about as thin as I could get it uh, after trimming a bunch of stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.